Uh, I mean, I have to have an interest in anime. Um, I have lots of friends who are not into anime and just think I'm weird because I like it. <laughs> uh, but um, strangely enough, I don't seem to get on well with people from Western culture. Uh, sometimes I find it hard to get on with my family. I don't know, we're kind of different. I don't know, I just sort of every western country I've been to I've felt like an outcast or something and I sort of don't really belong there. Um, How about Australia? Still some. People are very friendly but I still feel like something's missing. Um, but when I meet people from other kind of countries and who are diplomats as well, I get on better with them. I feel more comfortable being around people who have uh, traveled more. They seem to have a different kind of perspective on our outlook on things. Say Sam, I did learn Japanese. Um, beginners uh, it was I did enjoy it then like when I was doing kindergarten but then when I moved into like the whole primary school they kind of really pressured it and so I kind of lost interest back then um, but now I really want to get back into learning well for the past few years really wanted to get back in well I suppose you don't realize how special something is until you leave it and that's how I feel about Japan. Um, I've gone on with a lot of people um, growing up in, in different countries, in Australia and in England and in Egypt. But um, I've never really felt comfortable with them. And uh, Japan has always really stayed with me, um, I think spiritually. I've just always had the spiritual connection, but um, I can't answer the question why or how it's just stayed. It's just always been there. And I've only started watching anime and reading manga about three years ago. And before then, there was always that kind of, I suppose, those memories of Japan. And I suppose as I got older, maybe they kind of built up a bit more. My, that connection. Um, yeah. I find that the only uh, way, sort of, because a few years ago my house burnt down and we lost a lot of stuff, photos and everything of Japan. And I find like um, when I hang out with uh, Asian people, they don't have to be Japanese. I sort of that's just a way of sort of maintaining that connection or sort of grabbing whatever I can find to keep that 